How is your experience unique as a parent? Do you feel listened to and respected by neurotypical parents and the general population of parents with autistic youth? Okay, so the first part was, do I feel res do I feel respected by other neurotypical parents? Um, yeah, like parents with you know, I I'm I'm kind of avoiding saying the term autism parent. But huh. That yeah, is that helpful? Yeah. A little bit, yeah, I got it. Um, I want to say, uh, in general, no, I don't. I feel like they respect me more when they don't know that I'm autistic. It's like when they find that out, it's like my stock drops or something, or like like my value drops and what I have to say they listen to less and I always found that like kind of odd in the in the beginning it hurt a lot because it was just like I have like these similarities with you know you as a parent like and then I have these similarities with your child as well and you don't really care about either of that like I'm not it's like I, I can like this has literally happened to me like so many times it's like I can be talking with someone at a parent group or a, a, a what is this My kids haven't been in school in so many years a PTA meeting or something and like on a Monday, they're like, they're soaking it all in. You know, they're, they're, they're like, oh, you have really good ideas. This is really cool. This is great. And then it could be like the following week or then they find out I have a disability or something. And then it's just like, well, I don't know if I should really like, that's not like how my child is. And um, well, you know, I don't know if I should really actually be doing that. You know, so it's just like, nothing about me's changed like the advice hasn't changed my thoughts haven't changed nothing's changed except now you know that i'm autistic and so that is what kept me from really like when i first started sharing online i didn't share that i was autistic i just went with just being a parent i was just like i'm just gonna just go this way so this route, I want to kind of, you know, help my kids and connect with like parents and, uh, and, and see, but I really don't feel like they listen or respect um, a lot of what it is that I have to say or um, feel, and it's frustrating even in the, the spaces like online. And I have a lot of parent followers and I adore them like immensely, they are awesome. But it's so interesting to me because I, like, I asked one day um, if my followers had any suggestions of parent accounts that they felt truly listened to autistic adults or they didn't have to come out and explicitly say, hey, I'm a parent, I listen to autistic adults, but you have to like feel it in their content or the words You're like, oh, this looks like a person. This sounds like a person who's gonna like respect what I have to say and think. And I got so many responses. Like, I wanna say I got like 200, 250 like answers. They gave me six parent accounts that they felt the same six. And I was like, wow, we have like a lot of work to do. There's like my community as a whole, the parents and the autistic is also like, they don't feel in general that, you know, parents, neurotypical parents listen to us. And I feel like we have a long, long, long way to go. But 
Yeah. I, I said all of that to just say that I don't think they listen to me, but, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. I can I add to that, I think. So um, I'm a parent and um, I run my parenting Instagram account with just my name, um, Macy Satantio. I, I think it's hard to be in the middle. Um, all I can do is be my authentic self as an autistic person. And I love actually inviting other autistic adults to just discuss different topics that will be helpful for autistic children if their parents can be more open and to understand, for example, sensory differences. Uh, I just did a series on masking and unmasking, for example, and how to support autistic children to unmask at home and the reasons that they have to mask to begin with. And I don't do it alone. Um, I invite an autistic speech therapist an autistic occupational therapist. So I just try to do my best to be my authentic self and to translate uh, what being autistic is like to parents. And when parents are open, they will stay um, as my followers and hopefully ask questions. And if it's not for them, there are so many social media accounts that uh, it's actually on Moria. It's on my posts, uh, and it's I, I I usually do like a month long of important series. Uh, I did one on homeschooling versus schooling, and just different topics. Uh, yeah, so I just I think it's important for autistic adults to be role models to autistic kids and their parents. And um, I, I don't really sugarcoat things. I just try to do my best. The sensory differences is the main thing because I have auditory processing disorders and also like learning challenges. Uh, I can't multi-process. Uh, so I just do my best. And, and I just love to work with other autistic adults like me and Tiffany from NI. Um, functioning, we're going to collaborate actually to uh, teach a group of speech therapists here in the Bay Area. So I love doing that, just grouping and just doing collaboration with other autistic adults to educate people, neurotypical professionals and parents who are ready to learn. So that's my thing. <laughs> 